Hi everyone. In today's video, we're going to learn how to print full bleed labels on the Quick Label QL120X using CQL Pro Advanced Labeling Software. Full bleed printing is when you print from one edge of the label to the other edge of the label. And sometimes you even exceed a little bit. That's called overbleed. You do this to ensure that there are no white borders around your label. For this video, we're going to print on 4 by 6 inch rounded rectangle label. Therefore, we're going to design a template that is 4 inches wide by 6 inches in length. And we're going to set the label shape to rounded rectangle. Take a look. Here we have our 4 by 6 inch template size. Now we're going to import the artwork into the label. Click on the image field and then click on the label. Now double click on the artwork field and browse to your artwork. First of all, make sure that your artwork is designed correctly for full bleed printing, meaning there are no white borders around the label. You can see in our Stay Wild Coffee example, the image goes edge to edge. If there are any white borders, you can eliminate a white border by using the cropping feature that's available in CQL Pro under Field Properties and then Cropping. Our artwork is designed for full bleed printing, so we can continue from here. The next thing we have to do is increase the size of the artwork to be slightly larger than the size of the label. We're going to increase the width and the length of the artwork by about 1 millimeter, or 0 0.03 inches. You can increase it more, but this is a good starting point. Uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio so you can resize the image to the exact amount required. You see the size of the label here is 4 by 6 inches. Therefore, we're going to set the width of the image to 4.03 inches by 6.03 inches. Now, center your artwork on the label by clicking on the Home tab and then Center Justify right here. Now we're ready to print our label. Click File, then Print. Now we're presented with the Print Setup window. Select the Quick Label QL120. If you have a profile for a 4x6 label, you can select it now. Otherwise, we're going to create a new profile by clicking on the Add button. Name your profile here, for example, 4x6 inches. We're not going to change the printer properties for now, but we have to make sure that the media properties match the label that is loaded in the printer. Set the baseline printer to Quick Label QL120. The shape of the label is rounded rectangle. Media type is glossy paper, for example. The width is 4 inches. The length is 6 inches. The maximum printable width is equal to the width. The maximum printable length is 6 inches. The total width is 4.125 inches. That's the width of the label plus the right and left edge trims. Gap length is 0 0.125 inches. By the way, this information is normally available on the inside core of your label. Now that we've verified the media properties, we can click Save. Print five labels and then check the output. Inspect the third or fourth label. Do not make adjustments based on the first label. If any adjustments are needed, you can do that by editing the printer profile. We have two useful settings that can help with full bleed printing. 
Offsets help us move the image in the vertical and horizontal direction. Increasing the vertical offset moves the image up toward the printer. Decreasing it moves the image down with the print direction. Increasing the horizontal offset moves the image to the right, and decreasing it moves the image to the left. The other setting is overbleed. This is a very helpful setting for full bleed printing. Suppose the top of your label, the side toward the printer, requires more ink. Just increase overbleed of the top to 4, for example. By the way, these values are in dots, so that's 4 dots. Save your profile and print 5 more sample labels. Inspect your label and continue printing if no more adjustment is needed. That's it! Now you know how to print full bleed labels on the Quick Label QL120 using CQL Pro. Remember, the key point here is to increase the size of the artwork to be slightly larger than the size of the label by about 1 millimeter or 0 0.03 inches for both the width and the length. And then use offset and overbleed settings in the printer profile for minor adjustments. We hope you found this video helpful. For additional video tutorials, please visit our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.